let her go She stole my heart that day Took me down the line And I've wasted all my time In that pool She showed me how my way again She showed me how to play that silly game I lost my senses And I'm still Trouble Club Studio, and together with me, I've got a special guest, Mr. Zach Yusuf, who Hi. played guitar with me just now. And Mr. Zach works for the Star, but he's also uh, got his own band. He's on indie band, am I right? Yep, correct. And they've been all the way. They've toured in England. They've been all all around the world. I yeah, think. we will Thailand, Singapore. That's all around the world, really. Yeah, yeah. And England. their track has been on Hits FM, and it was at the top for fourteen weeks. Yeah, yeah, pretty good stuff. Zach, pretty thanks stuff. for coming Sounds over. Good. Yeah, thank you very much for having so me. So tell me a bit about yourself. How did you get into music? Well, you know, like all kids, I got hooked when I started buying. I used to be a mad collector of music. I still am. And it all started with uh, the old seven-inch singles. I know a lot of kids these days buy MP3s, but uh, I started off buying uh, vinyl. And as a kid, I used to save my pocket money and buy singles every week. You know, I, I look at the charts. It was very important to me. And from about the age of twelve, I decided to pick up the guitar, self-taught completely. And you know, fast forward ooh, thirty years, and I'm still playing guitar now. So, yeah, that's how it started. Very organic. Just as a love of pop music. The yeah. love of music. Yeah. The song just now was completely made up on the spot. It was improvised. <laughs> oh there, was, there were no rehearsals. There yeah. Were, the lyrics were improvised as well. Yeah. The yeah. genius of Zach. Oh, you know, that, that's, a, that's a beauty thing about blues, right? It's, it's expression and feel music, you know? I mean, I can barely play the blues, but it doesn't really matter if you, you feel the music, right? So. It's all about the feel, guys. Yeah. It's all about the feel. Yeah. Tell me a bit about your band. Well, my, my band are called Free Deserters, and Free we Deserters. have been going, we, we set up the band in 2006 I set it up when I came back here and uh, I wrote some songs and you know once you write songs you want to see how it's performed by a bunch of guys and once you get that together then the next step will be oh I wonder how it'd be if we played a few gigs and next thing you know we were a proper band and we kept on getting booked for gigs and uh, uh, yeah it's something I've been doing since I was a kid you know 16 was my first band so it, it was very natural to me and once I got hooked, I'm, I'm all in, you know? So uh, the band's very, we're, we're completely independent. You know, we finance our own records, our own tours, uh, uh, which is how most bands do it these days anyway. You know, who signs to a major record label anymore? Yeah, it's all, it's all in, done indie. Yeah, yeah. And it's all done in the back of the house, then it's... Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's you a passion. you get more creative control. It, you have more creative control. I mean, there, there are perks to being signed to a record company because they handle your marketing and they can really push your records out there but the industry's changed so much you know with the internet I mean you find a lot of bands just bypassing the whole uh, signing contracts and major labels and just doing it themselves yeah it's, it's a good thing yeah I know yeah. especially for an indie band it's not easy to break through is it? it's not easy at all you know there are bands out there aren't they? man musicians are I would say 40% musician, 60% hustler. That's that's what it takes to be uh, a successful musician. You know, it's not a case of just, oh, I play guitar and I write songs, I'm going to be famous. I mean, that's that's just a small part of it. The big part of it is, is hustling, you know, meeting the right people, getting your contacts, being driven to, uh, to get your music out there to the right people. And uh, it's sad to say, but it really is down to who you know in this in this business, you know? The more people you know that 
that can help you, the bet. The bet that is for you. Yeah. You mentioned once that you were in England and you got Correct. seriously into music oh. and you actually joined a punk rock band, was it? Correct. In I, England. Tell me about yeah, your experience. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was going to go to school and I'd finished my A-levels and it was a case of go to university or, or join this punk band. You know, which, uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, <clears throat> I was a bit too young for punk, but my era is post-punk, which is all the good stuff that come after punk. Punk is a really important movement in, in my era because it really opened the door for musicians like me, self-taught guys, it, punk rockers like the, the Pistols and the Pistols. Clash. They showed us that, you know, you could form a band. You didn't have to go to Berkeley. You didn't have to be a, a trained musician and you, you could you could do it, you know, if you had the passion and the feel. So it, it, was, it was really a, a very important moment for me because it, I realized that I could do it, you know. So uh, once I got the chance to move to London and, and join this band, I, I grabbed it with both hands. Yeah, so uh, the band didn't work out, but like by that time I was in London, I set up my own band, so we were ready to go. Yeah. Oh, amazing. You've been everywhere, haven't you? Well, How I long mean, have you been in music? Uh, I started music when I was 16. I joined my, real, my first real band when I was 17. So I'm in my 40s now. Don't look 40. <laughs> yeah, rock and roll, you rock know. And roll forever. It, it keeps you young. It keeps, keeps you young. young. Yeah. But like the, the, the main thing is, you know, punk rock. Without punk rock, I think I might not have gone down this path because back in the, the 70s and prior to punk, you know, you got these prog rock bands that were playing 17 minute songs and they were like yeah. virtuosos. I mean, when I used to look at bands like, you know, a Gong and all those prog rock bands, Rick Wakeman, Rush. I mean, who can play like Neil Peart, right? I mean, right. It, it was such a daunting task. I used to think musicians were like aliens from the sky, you know? There's nothing weren't, in the eye, They weren't normal people. And then the Clash and the Pistols, they came along and they were just normal kids, you know? And uh, yeah. they weren't brilliant musicians, but they had expression and feel they had something to say. So uh, it was really important to me. Yeah, I realized then I could do it. Yeah. That's what really made people appeal to them because you saw, see this bunch of kids playing yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you know, in, in, every, in musical is a cyclical thing, right? In music trends, they come and go in cycles. And I think it re the whole prog rock thing of being virtual musicians, it, it reached a tipping point where the kids, they were so far removed from the normal kids on the street, uh, something had to give. I mean, music, pri predominantly music scenes and trends, are invented by kids on the street. I think if we lose touch with that, you get a situation like you did in the 70s where there was these really self-indulgent, boring music. I mean, who wants to listen to a guy play a drum solo for 10 minutes? <laughs> I, I, you know, I couldn't think of anything more boring than that, you know? I liked punk because it was like immediate songs that hit you right there, you know? It, it, it was hard to explain, but yeah, it was it totally... I connected with it, you know, the 17 minute guitar solo things was never me. To this day, I'm not a shredder, you know. Yeah, I, I, I like songs, man. You like songs? Yeah. You like music? Melody, melody is key, yeah. Zach is also um, part of the Star, the Star newspaper, and he does a lot of reports on music, and yeah. you've been all over the scene. You cover music basically for the Star, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a big part of my brief at the Star, you know. I mean, I feel that I... I was in a position to uh, uh, help the music scene. I say help, but uh, really, I mean, you know, just giving some exposure. And as a journalist, I mean, journalist. that is our job. So I was more than happy to cover uh, the good bands around. And Malaysia has a lot of great, uh, great bands, you know. There's a really strong independent scene here. It's still young, but it's definitely growing. I mean, I, I'm happy to see that there are more local promoters. In order for a scene to grow, I mean, we can sit here and bitch about like, oh, Malaysia's music scene sucks and there's nothing going on. But it really takes young people, much younger than me, to create shows, build something. And if you build it, then it grows. See? That's correct. So I'm really happy when I see some young promoters uh, 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 putting on their own shows, you know, because no one's going to help you if you don't help yourself. That's, yeah? That's rock and roll, man. Tell me a bit about your program called Make Some Noise at the Star. Yeah, yeah. So we, we got a... Uh, we got, uh, a live music show called Make Some Noise and the brief is very simple. I wanted to record uh, live music in our studio at the Menara Star and I also wanted to highlight a lot of the local talents that we have here. The only condition to be on this show is that you play original music. 
you know we're not we don't feature covers bands I think they get enough gigs the ones that I'm interested in are the kids that create their own art yeah so if you're if you're in that type of band let me know and I'll stick you on the show give you a ring yeah yeah so. ladies and gentlemen Mr. Zach Yusuf of The Star but also of Free Deserters correct thanks correct. for joining me on Mama Travel Club Studio it's a pleasure to have you thanks for the song thanks for jamming with us yeah could I just say uh, you can Get in touch with Free Desserts and find out about music. Uh, just come on our Facebook page. Like Facebook. Page. com. Yeah, like our page. <laughs> Facebook.com slash Free Desserts. We also got our website, Free Desserts.com. Uh, come and like us and we'll like you back. We'll like you back. Desserts also for Mama Travel Club Studio.